Hello YouTube. I have not uploaded new video for quite some time. Had issue with RAM on my video gaming workstation, so had to wait for spare part to arrive and replace. So now, for today video, I will be sharing video of mining Ergo. Disclaimer, this was actually captured early June, so some of the profit value that will be show today, will be not up to date. At the moment, Ergo is a bit lower than Ethereum in term of profitability. We will be using NanoMiner to mine Ergo. Latest version that I'm using is 3.3.5 CUDA 11. First, download NanoMiner using the link in video description. It's from NanoPool GetHub. After extracting the file, we need to edit config underscore ergo file, fill in your ergo wallet address and name for your worker. After that, just click and drag the file to NanoMiner to start it. It use auto pool, so it will choose the one closest to your location. Ergo at the moment, only use 2 GB of RAM. I'm changing all my workers on my X99 rig to mine Ergo. I didn't close tier X miner as I want to see what will happen to hash rate. Looks like hash rate on tier X minor is going down, which is expected. So let's close that. It takes some time for the ergo hash rate to raise. For 3060 GPU, Ergo hash rate is usually around 110 to 120, for 3090 that I had just added to the rig, around 220 to 270. 1070 is around 47 to 55. Roughly I have about 900 MHz of hash rate for mining Ergo. While waiting for the hash rate on X99 to raise, Let's change flight sheet in Hive OS to Ergo. I'm not sure why I didn't use Nano Miner in Hive OS instead I used NB Miner. Most like it was due to the fan glitch method. Anyway, there shouldn't be much different either NB Miner or Nano Miner. I was checking the overclocking setting in MSI afterburner, since the hash rate is slowly rising.
opening HW info to check on GPU VRAM temperature. The 3090 is from Gigabyte which is well known having high VRAM temperature. This was before I change any of the default low grade thermal pad that Gigabyte had use. I also noticed that VRAM temperature is lower. Mining Ethereum will cause VRAM to thermal throttle at 110. With Ergo, it is around 84. But the 3060 hotspot temp is not much of different. The memory controller load on any of the GPU are not 100% either. Not sure if there is any setting that I need to change or this has any effect on Ergo mining hash rate. Fast forward, I had separate the miner into two. One for 3090 only. The other for the 3060. If I remember correctly, the X99 rig keep going into sleep state when mining Ergo. Never had this issue before while mining Ethereum. So at the particular time, I thought there was issue with the new 3090. It was actually power setting on the Windows 10. Since then I had changed it. Let's see the mining stat on nano pool. Since it was going into sleep state, the mining was interrupted frequently. But still managed to do an average around 700 to 800. Right now it can do up around 800 to 900. Minimum withdrawal for ergo on nano pool is one ergo. That is really great, meaning you can withdraw every day. With my GPU collective hash rate, at that particular time I can withdraw 2 to 2.5 ergo per day. Roughly 20 US dollars per day. To change your minimum withdrawal, click setting, type in your email and the minimum amount. You will need to add your email address in your minor configuration. Then only you can change the withdrawal setting. Else it would be at 5 ergo minimum if I'm not mistaken. I used Yoroi as the Ergo wallet. I have successfully withdraw from Yoroi wallet to Hotbit.io. From there I change to Ether and then withdraw again to Luno. You can install Yoroi extension in Chrome and create new wallet address for Ergo. So hopefully this will provide some info about ergo mining. As usual, please like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching, have a profitable day.